Bus bars, essential components in the electrical power distribution field, serve as critical conduits for conducting electricity within a wide array of electrical systems. These metallic strips or bars, predominantly made from copper or aluminium, ensure the efficient and safe distribution of electrical power. The inherent properties of these metals, including excellent conductivity and resistance to corrosion, make them ideal for bus bar fabrication. The process of bus bar manufacturing involves cutting, bending, and drilling these metals into specific shapes and sizes to meet the precise requirements of various applications. The versatility of bus bars extends beyond mere electrical conductivity. Their design significantly reduces the space required for cable in installations and enhances the overall efficiency of power distribution systems. Bus bars are not only fundamental in distributing power across electrical switchboards, distribution boards, and substations but also play a pivotal role in renewable energy systems and battery banks, underscoring their importance across diverse sectors. Bus bars are astonishing pieces of technology that make complex power distribution simpler, more affordable, and flexible. Different coating or plating materials provide varying levels of conductivity and duration of the product's life cycle. Bus bars are typically made from corrosion-resistant copper, brass or aluminium in solid or hollow tubes. They are produced in a range of shapes including flat strips, solid bars and rods. Some of these shapes allow for more efficient heat dissipation due to high surface area to cross-sectional area ratio. Copper oxidizes over time and without coating, more power is needed to push electricity along the surface. Applications of bus bars are produced in a variety of shapes, such as flat strips, solid bars, or rods. They are typically composed of copper, brass, or aluminium as solid or hollow tubes. When space is limited or alternative electrical distribution is required, bus bars are the go-to for many industries. We look at two types of bus bars laminated and flexible with both serving a multitude of sectors. Laminated bus bars are widely used in the following applications, cellular communication systems, telephone exchange systems, power and hybrid traction, base stations, power switch systems, large network equipment, military equipment systems, power generation systems, power conversion modules of electric equipment. Flexible bus bars are used in electric, hybrid and fuel cell vehicles, electrical connections and switching cabinets, power link for generators, transformers and charging stations. Bus bars work as wonderful conductors and play an important role in the distribution of electricity. The pros at coating systems know that without proper coating, these important pieces of our electrical grid would not last as long as they should. At coating systems, we add a layer of powder coating onto bus bars. In today's blog, coating systems look at why bus bars need coating. Inhibit corrosion, copper is generally corrosion resistant, but in extreme environments with high humidity and rich in sulfur and ammonia, additional protection is needed. Increase current rating, it's been suggested that matte black paint be applied to bus bars to improve emissivity. The matte black coating emits heat better from the surface than most others. However, the difference is not overly impressive and can reduce the efficiency of the convection process. Painting can cost, finger marks or typical handling smudges may occur during assembly and manufacturing. The natural grease in the marks darkens quicker than the surrounding copper and can be seen as dirty. Some companies have no technical reason to paint bus bars other than to hide marks. This can, in fact, hinder maintenance, increase working temperature, and cost extra. Powder coating, powder coating is a great choice for insulating thick conductors, as well as conductors with multiple electrical contact points. It gives the ability to coat the bus bar by almost melting paint over the surface. This provides a durable protective layer which not only protects against corrosion but carries good insulation ratings. Reasons for coating bus bars to inhibit corrosion copper is generally corrosion resistant but in extreme environments with high humidity and rich in ammonia and sulfur, additional protection is needed. Metal coatings, your choice of coating material could also depend on whether your bus bar parts are moving or fixed. Tin lead coatings are not used as often due to environmental concerns and should be avoided. Same applies to pure tin coatings as it forms whiskers and can cause transient, transient short circuits. Nickel and silver coatings are the preferred options as it's relatively inexpensive and durable with a harder surface area. On the negative side, it corrodes significantly when in contact with metals like gold. Silver is the most effective option but also the most expensive and does not perform very well with sulfur compounds. Whichever metal you decide to use, an anti-tarnish finish is recommended to keep the surface clean and conductive for increased longevity and safety. To increase current rating, it's been suggested that matte black paint should be applied to bus bars to improve emissivity. The matte black coating emits heat better from the surface than most others. However, the difference is not overly impressive and can in fact reduce the efficiency of the convection process. 
It is mostly used on wide bus bars with high temperatures where the radiation is more effective. For cosmetic purposes, more often than not, finger marks or typical handling smudges may occur during assembly. The natural grease in the marks darkens quicker than the surrounding copper and can be seen as dirty. Some companies have no technical reason to paint bus bars other than to hide marks. This can in fact hinder maintenance, increase working temperature and it costs extra. In some cases, the local market requires bus bars to be painted which leaves the manufacturer not much of a choice. Bus bars are vital yet overlooked component, components of an electrical system. These items, typically made of copper, brass, or aluminum, allow wires and electrical connections to congregate along a single axis for convenience. Bus bars are generally uninsulated, meaning if anyone touches a bus bar they run the risk of electric shock or even electrocution. Maintains conductivity of electrical components, powder coating doesn't interfere with the conductivity of electrical components, much like any other insulating material. Powders are even better than rubber or plastic because they are form-fitting and don't take up a lot of space. Heat-cured powders are sturdy and last for years due to how they are applied. Improves durability, powder coating doesn't break, bend, or crack in the same way as rubber or plastic. For example, you have a facility with a lot of heavy equipment. A maintenance worker accidentally cuts into a rubber insulator covering a bus bar. Now, that bus bar could potentially harm workers if they aren't careful. You may even have to lock out the entire grid until someone fixes the insulation that was cut. Powder coating reduces downtime and damage. Prevents corrosion, bus bars are usually out of reach of workers due to how they are installed. However, they still suffer from degradation over time. Galvanic corrosion may occur when two different types of metals come in contact with each other. Your wires and bus bars may be copper, but the bolt holding the wire against the bus bar could be stainless steel. Powder coating helps prevent or reduce galvanic corrosion, thereby making your electrical grid more efficient while lasting longer. Protects workers, worker safety is essential for your facility. Improved safety le leads to happier workers who love their jobs and show up for work every day, as well as lower insurance premiums for your company. Powder coating on bus bars is safer than rubber or plastic insulators that could be cut or crack over time. Silver plating applications and bus bars, finishing is one of the most important areas within the engineering sector. Even components carefully machined to the highest standards and specifications can still be scrapped if the finishing is not up to standard. Silver plating is essential for the functioning of components and helps in the following areas, reduced corrosion, enhanced strength, reduced friction, increased solderability, benefits to conductivity, help with paint adhesion. Applications of laminated bus bars, laminated bus bars has layers of fabricated copper separated by thin dielectric materials. These are laminated into a unified multi-layer composite structure connected to a platoon. Compared to conventional and time-consuming wiring methods, laminated bus bars are easy to design and quick to install. It is known for reliability, low impedance, anti-interference, and space saving. Sizes and applications vary from surface-mounted bus bars the size of a fingertip to multi-layer bus bars exceeding 20 feet. They are most commonly used in the following applications and industries, high-frequency inverters, solar and wind energy, rail applications, electric vehicles, cellular communication and telephone exchange systems, power and hybrid traction, power generation systems, base stations and power switch systems, military equipment, large network equipment, power conversion modules. PRV bus bars is the first choice for many. As part of our bus bar manufacturing services, we provide a range of specialist coatings that provide additional insulative or conductive properties to the product. The CCS integrated bus bar, also known as a battery cover assembly, is a key component in various applications like new energy vehicles, energy storage systems, and smart homes. It integrates several elements within a battery module, simplifying design and improving performance. Core functions, high voltage connections, CCS bus bars enable safe and efficient series and parallel connections of battery cells for high voltage operation. Data acquisition, it gathers crucial information like temperature and voltage from each cell, transmitting it to the battery management system BMS for optimal control. Overcurrent protection, built-in safeguards prevent damage from excessive current flow within the battery.